So today I really want to go over um, this <laughs> waterfall animation with one of my favorite like meme, almost like fine art. Um, well, yeah, I mean it's Gucci's album cover. So um, I just wanted to pay some ode to to Gucci and water. I mean, water is everything. So. Um, we are going to animate this water and kind of like the mist with it too in Photoshop. Photoshop is my favorite place to animate, so <laughs> yet again, I'm on my laptop. So, you know, because again, I do have my desktop, but for some reason the version of Photoshop on there does not, is not compatible with the video timeline in Photoshop. But anyways, I just want to also introduce myself before I jump into all of this. My name is Danielle. I am with Color, um, an art and design firm that highlights muted shades. And um, that is why I'm here bringing us all some design content and just having fun um, coming with me and learning as we go because I'm not a pro. Again, I always say this, I'm not trying to teach anyone anything, but if you can learn something along the way, that's great. If you can teach me something, please let me know below. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I have my graphic here, um, and we're going to animate the water and that the water falling and all of that. So um, the way we'll do that, we have our graphics selected we want to take we want to hit this layer mask um, well quick it's quick masking um, so I want to set this to black and take my brush and um, hit the you can hit the brackets the left and right brackets to make your brushes bigger or smaller so I'm gonna make it the right size here I have it set to black and I'm going to select the area that I want to animate. Let me increase the flow and the opacity. Maybe I don't want it at 100%, 80 and let's say uh, yeah, 82. Okay. And I'm just gonna go all the way down. I'm really not sure how far I should be going down here, but probably where you can tell it's like photoshopped in water already. Shout out to whoever made this artwork. I mean, I, I need to, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look them up and put them in the, the, the description below too, because I feel like they deserve to be known after, very well known, very well known. Um, okay, so. Finish selecting and okay so now after you have what you want selected go ahead and hit the um, that layer mask again go to um, select and inverse so that it just selects that area command copy and paste that into a new layer on its own in your video timeline um, I have everything set to one second. That's really all you need for this video because it's just going to be looping anyways. Um, so take that, make it a smart object, right click your layer, and hit the tab down. I'm going to start my first keyframe at the beginning where it is and then go all the way to the end and hit Command T for transform. And I'm going to just stretch this pretty much just down. Um, you might go out a little bit, but I'm just gonna stretch it down. And yeah, that should be that should be pretty good. So I'm gonna hit enter. That'll create the keyframe for us. So you can see that transition and how it's just rushing down. So we've got that. Now let's go ahead and make a selection of the mist that we want to animate. And then do the same thing that you did with the original water. And command T. And we're going to expand this kind of up and out here. 
now we've got all of that and we want to go ahead and add a little bit of a transition to these so that they flow a little better because if I play this through let it go through once once it's all green it'll like play in more real time so you can see that's pretty cool but it um, it's just jumpy, so we can add some little transitions. So we'll just use the fade on either end of the um, parts that we're animating. So cool, with the fade it even looks a little more like misty and just, yeah, so cool. I think that worked. Um, okay, so now we want to take out the parts that we don't want flowing down by using a, um, a mask, um, a real mask, not a quick selection mask. So we'll take our original background layer, Command J, to quickly just copy and make a new one. And take this to the top. Go ahead and resize it down to that one second with everything else. Um, hit layer mask, and I'm going to fill this with um, with black. There's also a keyboard shortcut for this, and everyone always says that it's command backspace. I've tried that; it doesn't work. If y'all know the command for like um, the keyboard command in order to fill this layer up, let me know. I would. I mean, I guess it will. It would tell me right here, right? Um, Okay, so we'll fill that with black, and then I have my foreground color is white, I've got my paintbrush selected, and we're going to scrub on the video timeline once we start seeing um, areas we don't want showing, just color it out, because I want to still be able to see these little people in the foreground, I don't want to lose them, and you can see too as I scrub out, I put the mist a little out of frame because I thought it's kind of cool, but let me go back and just, um, because the edge is very hard and you can tell it was a square picture before, so I'm gonna go in and kind of just break that up a little bit. And now you've got your little GIF. And it was super simple, it took us what? Five, 10 minutes? Um, so then you go to your little render queue off to the side. You, have, you can't see it in my frame, it's out of frame, but it's a little sandwich. And then you'll uh, go ahead and render your video. And name it whatever you want. And I always have it set to high quality and all of that. And then you just hit render. It'll save wherever you ask it to be saved and you're done. So thank y'all for watching. Let me know what y'all would want to see or what y'all would want to know how to animate. I, that's, I'm here for y'all and I want to be able to interact with the design community in a more um, directly indirect way. <laughs> so please let me know if y'all have any suggestions for me um, on how I can improve or you know if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see done. I will definitely show it. So thank y'all for watching all the way through. If you've made it this far, go ahead and like and subscribe because we do this every Wednesday. So we will see y'all next week.